Hello, Doc here with another physics tutorial for Physics 101 Light and Visual Phenomena. And today we're going to talk about diopters. Get your paper and pencil out so you can follow along. The definition for diopters, which is in our book and we memorized, diopters is 1 over f, where f is the focal length in meters. I like to memorize another formula that's very, very related, and that is when focal length is in centimeters, I think of 100 instead of 1. So I replace the one with 100 when I think in terms of centimeters, and I'll get the same result in either case. Sometimes this formula is more convenient to use than the one on the left. We'll give you several questions here leading up to hard ones. We'll start with the C level and give a B and an A, and A plus a zinger. But by the time you finish this tutorial, even the hardest of questions will no longer appear hard to you. Well, this question has one lens. Focal length is 2 meters. What's the diopter value? Well, since I have the meter value, two meters, I simply use one over two and get my answer. So the diopter value is one half diopters, 0.5 diopters in decimal form. And that's the answer for the diopter value for a two meter focal length lens. Next question, a little more involved. I have two lenses for the B level question. Focal length is two meters for the first lens. Second lens is one meter and I need the diopter value for the pair. In other words, this question is telling me to slap these two lenses together so I have two lenses acting as a unit and what's the focal length of the pair? I must remember that one of the reasons why diopters are used is that the diopter values add. When you put two lenses together, you don't add the focal lengths. If you do that, you get nonsense. So we're going to have to go to diopters first and then add. So the diopter value for the first lens, two meters, we already did. It's one half, one half diopter, 0.5 diopters. And the second one, uh, actually easier to calculate because if you have one meter, one divided by one is one. When you add these two together, 0.5 and one, you get 1.5 diopters, three halves. And that's the value for the pair. If we go to the A level question, we see now they're gonna play with us. They're mixing up centimeters and meters to confuse us. Focal length of the first lens is 25 centimeters. The focal length of the second lens is one meter. And we're being asked to find the focal length of the pair in centimeters. This will require several steps, but at each step, you'll see the calculation is straightforward. First thing I need to do when I put two lenses together, I got to think diopters. So I'm going to calculate the diopter value for each lens. Let's do that. First lens is given in centimeters, so here is where my second formula here comes in handy. So if we're thinking in centimeters, we divide the 25 into 100, and we do that, it's very easy to get the four diopters. And if someone insists on using the uh, textbook formula, 1 over f in meters, you can do that. What you do is you replace the 25 centimeters with 0.25 meters, and divide 0.25 into 1, you still get 4. I like to write decimals out in this fashion where I put 1.00 for the numerator and then I think $1 divided by 25 cents. It's easier for me to see the relationship. I get 4D. You don't need to do that. And of course you don't even need to do this calculation at all if you're using the centimeter calculation on the left. We go next to the second lens. Second lens is in meters. So for that one in meters I can simply do what I did before here. 1 over 1 is 1 diopter and then I add both together to get my pair combination is five diopters and to find the focal length I reverse it instead of dividing um, like I did before you know by by this I used the focal length into 100 I used the diopter value into 100 and this gives me the uh, value for this focal length in centimeters five into 100 see these relationships are called reciprocal relationships where d is 1 over f you can swap D and F. F is 1 over D. So I'm just going backwards here. I'm doing reverse logic. So nice formulas. D is 1 over F. F is 1 over D. And that's if F is in meters. And if F is in centimeters, D is 100 over F. And F is 100 over D, if you want to think centimeters. So that takes care of that calculation rather quickly. And I'm finished. Here's the zinger. A plus level question. Given F1 is 20 centimeters. And the second lens has a focal length of negative 1 meters diverging lens and a converging lens. Now at this point I might think some basic physics. If I have a converging lens and I put a diverging lens on there I'm going to weaken it. I'm going to weaken this lens which means that the focal length is going to get longer. 
I might look at the five answers because I get a multiple choice test. And if I only see one choice greater than 20, that's the answer. I don't have to do anything. Sometimes that happens on an exam. But we're going to do it in great detail here so we see all steps. The first lens, 20 centimeters. I think of my second formula. I have centimeters, so I divide 20 into 100, and I get my five. I get my five diopters. If one wants to use the original formula given in textbooks, we can do that, as we said earlier. What you would do there is you would replace the 20 centimeters with 0.2 meters, two-tenths of a meter, and then one divided by 0.2 also gives you five. Here's my friendly way of writing that, 1.00, so I can think of that as $1, and 0 0.20, I can think of that as 20 cents, 20 cents into $1, 5. Of course, you don't need to do any of this if you did a calculation over here using our friendlier formula for centimeters. And then what we do is we calculate the uh, second lens uh, here which is a negative one diopter so one divided by negative one which you can place the negative right out here in the middle someplace it doesn't matter is a negative one diopter and then I add these two together a five and a negative one gives me a four think of this as five dollars in your pocket an IOU of one dollar so your net worth is four diopters four dollars and then to go to the uh, focal length of this pair I simply divide the 4 into the 100 centimeters to get my 25 centimeters, remembering that these are reciprocal relationships, which means that diopters is 1 over 100 over F in centimeters, and F in centimeters is 100 over D. I can swap those. So that's what I did here at the very end, like I did earlier, and I get the 25 centimeters. A Zinger question, which at each step is not that hard to work out. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Doc signing off for Physics 101, Light and Visual Phenomena.